The U.S. Air Force is responsible for the most powerful non-nuclear bombs on Earth, known as the GBU-57B Massive Ordnance Penetrator Bunker Buster, or MOP. It's a huge 30,000-pound class weapon that's deployed to penetrate the toughest of defenses. Let's take a closer look at just how it works. The MOP is the most powerful and deeply burrowing non-nuclear bunker buster bomb on the planet and is massively important for destroying highly fortified targets buried under mountains, like those found in Iran, Russia, China, and North Korea. The U.S. developed these huge bombs in the 2000s as concerns grew over Iran hardening its nuclear sites by building them underground. Currently, the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber is the only thing able to deliver the MOP operationally although B-52 bombers have been able to drop them during testing. The Air Force's future B-21 Raider Stealth Bomber is expected to be able to carry one of these weapons, while the B-2 has the ability to carry two. The standard massive ordnance penetrator is 20 feet long and is designed to blast targets more deeply on impact than any other existing weapon. Following this, it then detonates its 3-ton explosives payload, this includes around 4,590 pounds of AFX 757 and about 752 pounds of PBXN 114 for a total of around 5,342 pounds of high explosive filler. What's interesting about these numbers is that the MOP is only 20% explosive by weight. The vast majority of its massive weight comes from its super hardened, dense structure that is capable of burrowing deeper into fortified structures than any other bomb. An explosion from this huge airdrop munition is thought to penetrate as deeply as 200 feet through reinforced concrete that is able to withstand pressure of 5,000 pounds per square inch. The bomb can burrow more than 26 feet into the ground through this concrete before fully detonating. It does this by using the gravitational force of its initial drop and following a laser-guided sight. Once released from the bomber carrying it, the mop is guided to its target by GPS nav and a pair of stubby fins. The need for such a bomb seems greater than ever before as Iran appears to be proceeding with a nuclear project deep underground. According to satellite images, evacuation mounds at the latest Iranian site suggest a facility could be between 260 feet to 328 feet under the ground, according to the experts. If this is the case, then there may have to be some modifications made to this bomb to get it to be as effective as it needs to be to take out facilities such as these. What do you think about the Massive Ordnance Penetrator Bomb? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.